Hey guys, it's time for Stuff I Saw on the Internet. Okay, so Stuff I Saw on the Internet is a thing that I thought of yesterday while I was at work. Um, I was, I was looking around on the internet at gaming stuff, and I was like, hey, I should do a video talking about stuff I read about gaming on the internet. So, <laughs> thought of this fantastically, like, unique name that no one else would have thought of that's totally not dumb. So, uh, if you can actually think of a better name for it, please let me know. <laughs> I want to make this, like, a weekly thing, um, but I... I don't know, stuff I saw on the internet was the only thing I could think of. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, that's what it was, man. That's just what it was. So let's get into the gaming news. I actually read yesterday that in April, CCP announced that they're going to be doing an Eve TV series, which I think is totally awesome because it's, it's Eve, for one, and I love it. Space, drama, intrigue, and um, a lot of other things that counts as that number four that could make this series so awesome. And it's supposed to be based off player stories. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the different things. Well, if you're remotely interested in Eve, I'm sure you've heard about a lot of the different things that people can get themselves into in the game, which makes this really exciting. They have not announced when it's gonna be released yet, but I'm totally looking forward to it because it's gonna be totally awesome. Kind of tying into that, uh, CCP has partnered with Dark Horse Comics to make a Eve comic series as well. That's supposed to be coming out later this year, so I'm like super excited because it's supposed to be based on like player stories, like TV series will be. But um, I think this will be really cool. There, there's a lot of potential there, I think, for a TV series and a comic book series. Also, as all of us Eve players know, Odyssey is coming out June 4th. That is their 19th expansion. They actually just celebrated their 10 year anniversary. That's really good for any MMO, honestly, to, to last that long and um, to have people who have been playing for that long. There are people, tons of people have been playing for 10 years and a lot of people left because of change, but you know, that's just the way it is. The way it is. So yes, at FanFest, they actually showed a ton of footage from Odyssey. One of the biggest things that people are like most anticipating is the jump gates. They actually changed the look of all the jump gates and they took away that stupid little loading bar that totally takes away from the immersion of the game. You actually get to see your ship jumping. It's really cool, it's totally cool. And I actually got goosebumps when I saw the video. It's like, if you don't get a nerd boner right now, something's completely wrong with you. Aside from that, as always, they're rebalancing a ton of ships. From what I've read, they're uh, changing up the Naga a little bit. It's not going to be as easy to rat with it, which is fine. <sighs> I already um, I got through what they did to the Drake. Mm -hmm, I did. And um, I'll get through this too. And aside from that, they're like totally reimagining the scanning system, which is really cool. And I know a few people who are really looking forward to it because they've spent a ton of time scanning. <laughs> so. That's gonna be really neat. I'm looking really forward to seeing this stuff. So in the spirit of EVE Online, I have these four super fancy 30-day free trials that I got from PAX that I have just had sitting around doing nothing. So if you would really like to try EVE Online and spend a whole good 30 days playing it for free, uh, let me know in the comments below. I will contact you at your YouTube name through messaging and um, give you the key if I pick you. Don't comment twice, if you comment twice, you're totally out. I'm not gonna put a time, li time limit on it. Um, obviously, if like you don't respond and say use the key, like please respond and say use the key. If you, do if you don't respond and say use the key within like a week, then I'm gonna give it to someone else. But I think a week's like a really long time. Just comment below with, hey man, I really wanna try EVE Online for 30 days and I'll give you the key, so. Put that somewhere in your comment. It doesn't have to be one comment and then you can like comment on the rest of the stuff in the video. Just put it in your comment somewhere. Moving on! So you may or may not have heard, but Bethesda is releasing Wolfenstein, the new order, in quarter four of this year. Who doesn't like shooting Nazis? So it's it's kind of like rehashing the the old Wolfenstein games. Obviously it's not gonna be the same because the graphics are gonna be totally different. It's really exciting. It's cool to see them like bringing back something that 
is was so loved from a long time ago. Maybe they'll do some quick stuff. I don't know, man. Oh, shit. Ah. So Bethesda also released a super duper scary trailer for The Evil Within. If you guys haven't heard about it, it is a game made by Shinji Mikami. He's the one who made Resident Evil. And um, he's super excited about this game. And, and so am I, because I love horror games, as you all know. Amnesia is like one of my faves. Um, and he actually said that if people tell him it's the scariest game they've played in a long time, he will have accomplished his goal and he will be very happy. So. Keeping fingers crossed that it's gonna be a really good game. Should be coming out sometime next year. And speaking about Amnesia, still no idea when that's coming out, man. Machine for Pigs. It's all been a lie. It was supposed to be out in October, and it's still not out. I don't even. But what's keeping me afloat is that I read that Frictional Games is actually working on their own thing because Machine for Pigs is the Chinese room, so it's not really. You know what I mean? Um, so Frictional Games is actually working on their own thing. I don't know if it's going to have anything to do with Amnesia, but I know that it's going to be a horror game. So I am so excited. I just hope Machine for Pigs comes out soon because I really want to play that. Earlier this week, there were a lot of rumors going around that the next League of Legends champion was going to come out and he was going to be this guy named Lucian, who was like dual weed and gun badass, looks like a badass, okay? I was super excited about this. And then Riot was like, lol, no guys, we actually have this other champion. They actually have not even mentioned anything about Lucian. Like, I think that's probably going to be a champion that will be out in the future. It's just a long time in the future, and they probably just don't want to talk about him at all because it's a leak, and, I mean, they don't want to give stuff away before this next champion's even out. So, the champion that is coming out is named Aatrox? Aatrox. Atrox? I don't know. I mean, it's A-A-T-R-O-X. I'm guessing Atrox. I don't know. He's gonna be a top lane guy. He looks pretty creepy if you look at his picture. Look at that. Look at him. So while I am excited about this champion, I still am really hoping someday that we get to see Lucien in game because he looked bad ass. Okay? We all know he looked badass. So, that was all the stuff I read this week. I'm sure there was more, but I just forgot it. That was just the things that stuck out in my mind the most. Um, if you liked it, make sure you like it. And if you're not subscribed, why don't you do that? There's a button, like, right here, I guess, that will allow you to subscribe easily and quickly. Also, expect a few more Neverwinter videos to come out. I've been working on recording them slowly. And for your convenience, I will link the articles that I got this information from below. That way you guys can go check it out yourself and read a little bit more. I, I left out some information, but you know, if you want to know everything about what I talked about, then links down there. Don't forget, if you want the EVE Online 30 day trial, comment below with the comment I told you to comment with. Go back and watch the video. I will message you within the next few days, and if you don't respond within a week, then I will give it to someone else, which is fine. So, as always, I love you guys, and I will talk to you later.